Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at the upcoming active severe weather pattern for the majority of the plains, south, and midwest, as well as the severe risk for today and tomorrow. However, before we could get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. Right now we're looking at today's severe weather outlook and as you can see we have a marginal risk for severe weather across portions of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, and Kentucky. We have a 2% risk for tornadoes today across those same areas as well as wind. We also do have a 5% risk for winds and for hail. We have a 5% risk for one inch size hail or larger. And here's tomorrow's severe weather outlook and they did issue that slight risk for severe storms across portions of Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. We also do have a marginal risk around that slight risk now including Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, the Panhandle of Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, the Carolinas, Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware. Now we do have a tornado risk with this. We have a 2% risk for tornadoes across Mississippi, Georgia, both the Carolinas and the Virginia areas. We have a 15% risk for 60 mile per hour wind gusts and up, mile an hour wind gusts and up. And for hail, we have a 5% risk for when it's diameter size hail and up in that 5% risk region. Now, as you look at the future radar here, and this is according to the HRRR model, this is around 12 p.m. today. This is already passed here. So as we head into around now, so this will be around 6 p.m., we are seeing some storms down here in the more southeastern United States into the Ohio Valley. You are seeing some storms and rain showers across there. That's why we have that marginal risk for severe storms in those areas. We can see those storms move out of those areas by the time you get to around 6 a.m. of Wednesday. You're seeing those lines of storms and rain showers now moving into the southeast and mid-Atlantic. You're seeing even some more stronger storms right down here in Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia here. Those could definitely produce some big winds up to 60 or 70 mile per hour gusts in those. So definitely stay aware of that if you live in Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi. Uh, those are going to be moving southeastward as you head into the overnight hours. So this will be around 9 p.m. You're seeing those storms now moving into portions of Florida. And those should be fully dissipated by the time it gets around 2 a.m. of Thursday. And you're seeing this whole winter storm up here. Uh, in my last video, we did discuss the winter storm and the snowfall mounts up here in portions of the northeast. So make sure if you want to see, if you do live in the northeast and uh, you want to see the details on the snowstorm up here definitely go to my last video uh, but today we're just going to be talking about the upcoming severe weather now as we look at the gfs model this is the long range model as we head through uh april 8th so this will be april 8th here you're seeing some showers and thunderstorms lingering over uh, oklahoma kansas and missouri um you're also seeing these storms firing uh, across portions of the Midwest here around April 8th at 6 p.m. You are seeing definitely the strongest storms. We don't have uh, many details on these events yet, but we are starting to see an uptick in severe weather across this type of region right here. We really need to keep an eye on this region uh, throughout the next week or so. Uh, definitely keep an eye on this if you live in this uh, type of region right here. Keep an eye on the latest forecast because uh, we definitely could see some severe weather throughout the next week in that region. And I maybe even will be doing some live streams of on the severe weather if it is quite major. So definitely stay tuned for that. Now as we head throughout Friday and Saturday, you're seeing even more possible severe weather down here. I mean, this just points to multi-day uh, to a multi-day severe weather outbreak possibly and those storms look to be firing just on around 6 p.m uh early into late afternoon mainly uh for that system you definitely see that low pressure system even some snow up north possibly with this system as well even a well-defined cold front and that'll uh, kind of be triggering those storms right in there and as you head through uh the week after next week uh, you can see that same low pressure system 
now heading kind of dissipating it's not really moving actually you can see that low pressure is still staying there by the time this cold front reaches around this type of region the low pressure is not moving very much and that kind of dissipates and the low pressure finally moves up about a southeastern direction bringing some rain down here into the southeast that's, that's as far as we can go and that's a forecast hour 378 so this is very very long range and things will definitely change but we are going to see a definitely definite uptick in severe weather across uh the plains midwest definitely keep an eye on this on these upcoming forecasts because the storm prediction center is soon going to be talking about some of these and i will be do definitely doing some live streams on some of this severe weather so make sure you do stay tuned for that however very special very special thanks to our members of the, members of the channel illinois sound op big little guys 57 jack's rail fan network 2020 and bowman you can be, become one today for just a dollar and get a bunch of special perks however if you did enjoy the forecast be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on this channel and make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may want a forecast on the upcoming potential for some severe weather across the plains midwest and the south but anyways stay safe